So has anyone ever hung a picture and during the process you just got really aggravated? I'm sure you have, I'm sure we all have. Uh, there's a lot that could go wrong, but I'm gonna show you uh, a way that I like to do it. It made it a whole lot easier for me and hopefully it'll make it a little less painful for all of you all. So there's plenty of videos online on how to do something like this. There's a real quick two to two and a half minute video on YouTube by a user by the name of Rock108 Aveline. Uh, the name of it's Man Hacks and it's uh, how to use uh, tape to easily apply something to a wall. So let's get started. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is prep for the job, all right? And prepping for the job involves getting out everything that you need. So for me, uh, I'm gonna want painter's tape, absolutely number one, marker, pencil. You're gonna want some screws with anchors. If you have a stud finder, great. Uh, level, hammer, and the trusty tape measure. So to save a little bit of time, I've already uh, pre-done a few of these steps, but I'll walk you through on what I did. Um, first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna locate an area. So we've located this wall to hang this uh, picture up. And the first thing you need to do when you locate the wall is to figure out whether or not you're gonna want it centered, how high you want it. Uh, so my wife's decided we want this centered. Uh, she's picked the height. So what you're gonna wanna do, you can see this little dot right here, that's the top of the picture that she's gonna want, okay? And since she wants it centered, we measure from here to here, and it measured 38 inches. So we come halfway, 19 inches. So what you're gonna wanna do is, <clears throat> you're gonna wanna put the, the, uh, the painting up. So I don't know if you can see this, so six inches on this painting, I've made a mark. It's in pencil, easy to remove. And I have the center mark up here. So what I want to do is I want to line those center marks up, okay? And uh, you're going to want to get a level. And for me, I want to put the level on here to make sure it's perfectly level. And you're going to want to make your mark across the top. That's going to be your hanging line, okay? Now, if you're not familiar with a level, uh, there's, a, there's a great article on DIYDoctor.com by Mike Edwards called How to Use a Level. Uh, I suggest you look at it. Very simple to follow. So <clears throat> what we want to do is once we make our line, you're going to want to flip the painting over. Okay. You're going to masking tape or painter's tape. You're going to tear a piece of painter's tape and go all the way across. Okay. Now what you want to do for this video, you want to make sure that you have mechanisms, hanging mechanisms already on it. This video isn't for applying the mechanisms. It's for hanging a, a picture that already has the mechanisms. So with a marker, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to want to mark the very center of the hanging mechanism, okay? Once you get that, you're gonna remove your tape, okay? Peel it right off, okay? Take your tape and come over here to your hanging line, okay? And make and put it right on your hanging lines, okay? So you got it right there. All right, so now you've got the tape with your marks and you're ready to figure out whether or not you have a stud. So what you wanna do is take your stud finder. If you don't know how to use a stud finder, Stephanie Cameron on BobVila.com has a great article. Just go read it, it'll explain everything to you. A little trick that I have is you're gonna to wanna to start on one end of the wall because there's always gonna be a stud. At the corners of the wall, there's a stud. So what you don't want to do is you don't want to come right here in the middle, start on the stud, you're never going to be able to find them. So you start over here close to the wall, about right here, because you know there's a stud here and nothing here, and start coming this way. And you want to find out if you have a stud at your marks. If you have a stud, fantastic. Screw your screw in, hang it up, be done with it. If not, we have to apply some anchors, and I'm going to walk you through on how to do that. All right, so what you'll do is start the stud finder here, and you start going until you hit the stud, okay? And of course, for some reason, this house was built in 1969. There's only one stud between here and here, and it doesn't hit on either one of our holes. So that tells me we're not in the stud. So in order to do this, what you have is, have a drill with a drill bit. You have your marking line right above this and you know where you need to drill. Right on the marking line, right above your mark that you made. All right, same thing over here.
Okay, so now you got your two holes and you can remove your tape, okay? Now, what you wanna do, since it is not in, now for something like this too, let me tell you, if you wanna use nails or you don't wanna use anchors, you probably don't need to, it's real light. This is just to show you how to do it with anchors. That way, if you're hanging something heavy, you'll take care of it. So what you do, take your anchor, all right? Take a hammer, if you've never used an anchor, start it in and hammer it in. That's all you gotta do, okay? So, anchors are in. Now, what you're gonna wanna do is you wanna take your screws. If you don't have a drill or an impact, screwdriver will be fine for this. I have an impact, it's here, I'm gonna use it. So what you do is just slowly screw it in like so, maybe a little more. We'll leave it there. Same thing on the other side. All right. So in order to hang it, we've got about what we need to do. So let's see how it looks. Third, the third thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go, and we hope that this goes the way it should go, sorry. Uh, you're gonna take it, you're gonna hang it, should hit right on your marks, all right? So you come over here and you hang it up, like so. So it looks good, uh, looks level, but everything you wanna do is you're gonna wanna make sure through your level on it one more time, all right? For this one, since it has a bench seat right here, you can put it here, dead level, or you can put it up here and you're dead level. You can see you're dead level. So that's how to do it. Um, so in closing, what I'd like to say is there's a right way and a wrong way to hang a painting or a picture. Uh, I'm not saying this way is the right way. This way works for me. Uh, I personally don't think hanging one screw or one nail right in the center <laughs> is the proper way. A uh, hard slam of a door, gust of wind, and you're crooked. And if you're like me, OCD, it's gonna drive you crazy. This will keep that from happening. Uh, the last thing I would like to say is I encourage everybody to have a plan, get your tools together, and try to follow that plan and execute it. And this should keep you out from getting completely upset by trying to hang something on the wall. <laughs>